In the philosophy of mind, double aspect theory is the view that the mental and the physical are two aspects of, or perspectives on, the same substance. It is also called dual aspect monism. The theory's relationship to neutral monism is ill-defined, but one proffered distinction says that whereas neutral monism allows the context of a given group of neutral elements to determine whether the group is mental, physical, both, or neither, double aspect theory requires the mental and the physical to be inseparable and mutually irreducible though distinct. Double aspect theorists include, among others, Baruch Spinoza, who believed that the existence had two aspects, extension and mind, which together were to be taken as two of an infinite set of attributes comprising God or nature. There is a dual aspect interpretation of Immanuel Kant's noumenon. Arthur Schopenhauer, who considered the fundamental aspects of reality to be will and representation. David Bohm, who used implicate and explicate order as a means of displaying dual aspects. Gustav Fechner George Henry Lewis Carl Gustav Jung Wolfgang Pauli John Pokinghorn Brian O'Shaughnessy on the dual aspect theory of the will Thomas Nagel David Chalmers who explores a double aspect view of information, with similarities to Kenneth Sayer's information-based neutral monism. Christopher Langan Topic. Pauli Jung conjecture From the work of Wolfgang Pauli and Carl G. Jung results a philosophical approach, which Harold Atmansparker titles the Pauli Jung conjecture, of dual aspect monism, which has a very specific further feature, namely that different aspects may show a complementarity in a quantum physical sense. That is, the Pauli Jung conjecture implies that with regard to mental and physical states, there may be incompatible descriptions of different parts that emerge from the whole. This stands in close analogy to quantum physics, where complementary properties cannot be determined jointly with accuracy. Atmansparker further refers to Paul Bernays' views on complementarity in physics and in philosophy when he states that two descriptions are complementary if they mutually exclude each other, yet are both necessary to describe a situation exhaustively. See also Anomalous monism Property dualism Topic. External links Neutral monism in relation to dual aspect theory Topic. Notes